what was the actual reason for putting this 15 day cap i mean no this is one check my lord kindly see my lord why this 15 days period a it does not become a currency it does not become like a bearer bond which can be traded that is number 1 number 2 lord this eliminates the element of a potential kickback i'll tell you lot ships how <coughs> lord i kept a electoral bond of say 100 crores with me i tell a political party which is about to go in election that i have 100 crore if you form the government and if you give me this contract or whatever is the quid pro quo this is yours if 15 days is to be lord mandated mandated this is not possible i have to give it to them and take a chance if there is a quid pro quo but i i again say all do not donate because of quid pro quo fortunately no. we have that business atmosphere that business environment madhya pradesh is going in election bjp can win congress can win or any other party technically can win i go to congress with 100 crores of 100 crores worth of electoral bond that this this bond i have if you form the government and give me this particular contact uh, uh, contract after you are forming the government this will be yours this will be quid pro quo which is not completely minimized if i have to deposit in 15 days only so i have to give it within 15 days and they also cannot keep it pending till the government is either formed or not formed they have to deposit so i take that risk as a contractor of paying to a party which may or may not form the government that is why this 15 days but these are all checks and balances whichever could be practically thought of are incorporated that it is not becoming another problem while we are trying to find a solution sometimes the solutions are bigger than problems so therefore while the honorable finance minister the then finance minister says that it, this may not be a full proof screen but we have tried to make it as transparent as possible and my lord it will be read with 12 if it is not deposited in 12 uh, 15 days it goes in prime minister release that yes so money you don't get back the the donor does not get back the money it is for him to ensure that the party deposits otherwise what happens is he is out of pocket for 1 crore or whatever crore party doesn't get it so it doesn't get if at all there is any quid pro quo and his money goes in prime minister's relief therefore lord this is he will also have to say that but you deposit this amount otherwise i my money will go to prime minister relief fund not for the purpose i am giving you so this is my lord a strict check which is inbuilt yeah, yes yes and you have now seen the scheme you have explained it uh, only person. only seven my lord i have a suggestion seven. therefore my lord. my lord another thing my learned attorney my lord uh, very rightly says that this is not election related bonds your lordships have seen every tranche is four times right uh, four quarters of the January, account april july october <laughs> so lord i i uh, as a political party get 10 crores i can't wait till the next election and promise him that if i i, I get elected i'll deposit and i'll give you something as a it, if it is a contribution it is a contribution within 15 days you have to deposit my lord seven my lord which might my lord i am going to make one suggestion which might my lord perhaps substantially take care of your lordship's very valid concern can you make the suggestion we can just take it down and then we read it uh, together kindly have a look at my lord sure. the no seven problem. first yes sir my lord there are two things which may my lord perhaps not be acceptable to your lordship's conscience a what happens if this confidentiality which is statutorily built in the scheme is not adhered to or your lordships would mind would mark that if i try to breach the confidentiality system it would lead digital footprints left it's it's not my lord as if my learned friends were over not it's not even over simplification something less than that that you can just see in the light and you get the number and uh, you can compare it with the political party it's not like that if necessary my lord i'll come to that my lord what is the system it it leaves its footprints in the digital uh, format which cannot be erased please read 
and can we see malot the intention of the government and malot the bona fides of the government anyone com not complying with or committing breach of this confidentiality your lordships may say would be criminally liable for criminal breach of trust or whichever other provision malot which is applicable I, i have not examined malot from ipc point of view so th this takes care of one thing that you have the the biggest public sector bank the assurance of the chairman of biggest public sector bank with your lordship's direction that any breach will be visited with penal consequences now my lord second and that's where my lord justice kanna's very valid concern my lord was expressed so far as court is concerned my lord i don't think anybody has dispute my lord somebody where to go to the court my lord for example just to answer my lord justice chief justice is query that there is a quid pro quo suppose somebody goes to the court that this gentleman has given uh, money as per his bank statement or as per his account or this company has given 50 crores to some political party as per his statement look kindly listen to this this is interesting lord how the scheme works that this company has given 50 crores to some political party that is reflected in their balance sheet which is to be made public uh, as per the company's law immediately thereafter the one particular government has given him a contract worth 250 crores and therefore i suspect he has to give reasons for it he can't go the he can't rush the way pil petitioners are rushing but he can say that there may be a quid pro quo and the court is prima facie satisfied that yes there may be let us see whether those 50 crores has gone to the party which is the in the government who has given the contract but that is why under the court's order it will have to be decoded which has a very serious and complicated process it is not easy even under the court's order now the concern of my lord justice khanna and very right concern that upon registration of a criminal case by the law enforcing agency well the concern would be that you register a criminal case and ask sbi that give me the details that was my lord the concern your lordships would recall in aadhar judgment there was a similar provision and your lordships have read it down to me to say that when investigating agency wants this it can get only if there is an order of the court kindly put that layer by reading it down look kindly see my lord the bona fide is the purpose is not that the party in power knows what is paid to whom the purpose is not that this is to be used for the purpose of penal persecution yes so my lord level playing field when we talk about the level playing field my lord if i have to understand level playing field means one part every party should get equal political contribution that can never happen mr sibal would have 10 matters somebody would have only one matter you nobody can argue that there should be level playing field everyone should have three matters that every political party will have to rise to the level that they get more trust and they get more contribution but if the level playing field argument is attached to the fact that the party in power comes to know about it but well, this is the way in which it can be taken care of and both apprehension and the public interest can be balanced that even party in power will not come to know now my lord at this stage my lord i would like to show how my lord this scheme operates to satisfy your lordship's conscience because yesterday i found my lord your lordship's valid concern that it is possible for the ruling party to know but rest of the parties would not know lord as i was uh, told by the chairman that it can't be discussed publicly whatever can be discussed publicly my lord i have a separate thing on my request the officials of the sbi are here lord i would request your lordships uh, if your lordship would like to know the entire semantics how this system operates and how there are separate silos which cannot be breached and you have to go into one system you have to go into another digital system you have to go into third digital system leaving your footprints if there is a court order also then your lordship would be satisfied that it's not as if 
दैट अ फाइनेंस सेक्रेटरी कॉल्स द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ एसबीआई कि हर पंद्रह दिन मुझे भेज दो आ, किसने कितनी कौन सी पार्टी को कितने पैसे दिए इट्स इम्पॉसिबल इट्स दैट फुल प्रूफ अ सिस्टम या लॉर्डशिप्स कैन हियर देम इन चेम्बर बट राइट नाउ मलोड आई मे शो दिस मलोड वॉट इज द सिस्टम टू सेटिस्फाई लॉर्डशिप कॉन्शियंस इट्स नॉट मलोड एज इफ दैट आई गो एंड डिपोजिट सम अमाउंट इन द बैंक एंड टुमोरो द सीनियर ऑफिशियल ऑफ द बैंक calls the branch manager ki what amount tushar mehta has deposited he will just see and say that he has deposited 10000 rupees it's not that simple it cannot be that simple when we are ensuring confidentiality and when confidentiality is the heart and soul of the scheme please my lord allow me to share this my lord screen share this my lord there are extra copies also i have emailed also but i have not my lord i have missed uh, purposefully i have decided it's my my lord call that i have not said many things which the chairman also rightly feels and i also feel should not be made public what is how we maintain secrecy my lord can't be a public debate that's all because by definition it has to be confidential we are we have now covered the scheme no i'm the, just saying that since you have an hour to conclude give yourself a little time to deal with the challenge to the statutory amendments i, I that's what my lord my answer is one line answer the statutory amendments are to ensure that this scheme can be framed and can be operated that's the purpose of the there amendment is, there are no separate objects separate. Yes, that's okay. and you have already covered the reasonableness aspect as well there are corollary yes uh, to melod the scheme first it came under the reserve bank of india act that government can formulate the scheme that is challenge to the reserve bank of india act melod now by itself is not illegal 